All right, so my name is O'Day, and uh, I'm Caribbean American, and actually didn't plan to perform tonight, but you guys inspired me to. Um, this piece I'm going to perform, I actually used to have it memorized. I don't anymore, so let's see how far we get. Um, but it's basically a response to all the questions I get about why I'm living in Rwanda. I've lived here for about three years now. I'm very happy, and I'm coming from the U.S. as well. So I wrote this poem as a response to that question. It's called Those Who Know. Wall Street pushing up diamonds with lackluster lusting after angel dust. Bribed politicians will filibuster so I never trust. Money out of money abuse my sweat I labor for slave wages it will never equate. Do the math. You say this in office and you might get sacked. As a matter of fact, they'll stand back and support the man with a tan and a squirrel on top of his head. I read in the news I had no excuse. I always peruse. I'm just obsessed. The president's doing his best but yet Rainbow kids spit shining their shoes on the school bus. That's the reason why I lose trust. They ran for office and used us, abused us. Now who's us to speak out against injustice? Trust is my lips are not sealed. But the way I feel, just put a pile of cake to my soul, then watch it all explode. Watch it all unfold on Fox News interviews and for views. They will lie to you. That's the reason why I cried the blues. But that's tears wasted and energy spent. And so I live my life in ignorance, even though I'm deep in the trench. Deep-seated fears affecting generational wealth. We don't know that education is health. But those who know, know. And those who know, know and keep knowing. And those who don't, don't care and keep showing that ignorance is bliss. But I would be remiss. Not to mention the fake woke and so-called allies. Justice seeking on Twitter from a gentrified neighborhood where somebody's son died just last year. We are not peers. I'm paying twice your rent. You live across the street. And every time we meet, you clutch your purse. That shit hurts. Oh, but you love Beyonce. But you can never have a black fiance. You can never bite your tongue. There's always something deep in your mind. You think you're cultured and well refined. You think you know. But those who know, know. Those who know have lived. Those who know don't have time to rally in the street. Those who know are too busy surviving the heat and making ends meet. Those who know, know it's rap or go to the league. Those who know, know and want to move to Rwanda like me. The years of return, we are coming in droves. To find a place to call home the pan-African vision of Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X. I think there's a hex on me, cause I feel free when I'm here. Most of my fears disappear, my anxiety subsides from Lake Kivu to Nungwe Forest. I feel alive, because I live in a place where I don't have to debate that my black skin matters. I could lose everything and walk around in tattered clothes and know I won't fold, cause my black skin matters. And the stairs I get a lot of hatred, I know it's curiosity, I know it's all love, I know. And those who know don't have to ask me why I'm here. They see the fear leave my eyes when I hop off the plane. And then I start to complain about the price of brochettes. Not the price that is set by a judge for a bill I can't pay. And today, I don't have to worry about no target on my back. But how am I get to here and back for 600 francs? I argue with motor drivers, not racist police. And to be frank, those who know know it's easy to miss that place. It's easy to miss that hate. And that's not an understatement. It's hard to escape, and it's hard to debate when you tell me it's great, but that's the outside looking in, believe me, because I have lived and I have seen, and those who know look like me and just want to be free, just want to feel free, and I found that finally here in the heart of Africa. Thank you.